Tom, the Amiskeag Bridge behind me, one of more than 200 in New Hampshire that will be impacted by this new money. Now, today, the New Hampshire congressional delegation came together to talk about some of the improvements that Granite Staters can expect. In all, the bill will bring to New Hampshire more than $1 billion to repair roads and bridges, more than $400 million to improve the state's water infrastructure, and a minimum of $100 million to build out high-speed Internet access. Bridges in the Granite State in need of assistance. There are 215 and roughly 700 miles of roadway. Over the next five years, $225 million of federal assistance will be designated for bridge repair and replacement. Also included in the bill is a minimum of $100 million for broadband access, bringing high-speed internet to more than 42,000 people in the state that don't have it. There is also money for New Hampshire airports, clean drinking water, and to bolster cyber networks, plus $125 million for public transportation and rail investments. I think this is the result of the good efforts of so many people, both in the Senate and the House, and people across this country advocating that we need to make these investments in the future of America, and I'm so pleased we were able to get it done. One thing we've learned from COVID-19, when you pull the curtain back, there were structural inequalities and issues that did not work for modern families. Now, in terms of which projects get done first, the New Hampshire Department of Transportation Commissioner Victoria Sheehan says the state will update its 10-year plan, and that will help direct where the money goes. Live in Manchester, Jason King, WMUR News.